The Palace of the Inquisition is considered the great, greatest architectural treasure of Cartagena de Indias. The Sentencing Tribunal of the Holy Office had its headquarters here. Crimes against religious faiths were judged and the Inquisition remained until 1811. Here is the chronology from 1610 on. That says that behind this wall is an alley that leads to the window of denunciation. It was the mailbox where the court used to receive accusations of practices considered against the Catholic faith. Although many were anonymous, only those sent by relatives and important information were accredited to perform this function. The Palace of the Inquisition is in reality a set of three two-story houses. This set was built around 1770 to serve as headquarters to the Court of the Holy Office established in Cartagena since 1610, originally in two one-story houses in the same place. The court investigated, processed, and punished nearly 900 people during the 200 years in the city, five of whom were sent to the stake, accused of heresy, such as witchcraft, enchantment, reading forbidden books, solicitation, bigamy, and Jews. Hopefully all you, you all know in 1492 the Jews were forced to leave Spain and also Portugal later on. The Papal Inquisition was created between 1231 and 1233 attributed to Pope Gregory IX. Persecuting heretics became a political as well as a religious matter. Torture took place below in the lower level. The first court of the Inquisition in the American territory was established in Lima in 1570 under the Viceroyalty of Peru. That's the amount of people uh, murdered by the tribunal in Mexico, condemned in Peru. Cartagena served as a main entrance to black slaves, traders, and people from all over, and the foreigners brought with them a heretic culture. Therefore, the erection of the tribunal was mandatory to have control over the islands, the mainland, and people. The museum also tells about customs here in Cartagena, and this one tells about the uh, veneration of the Virgin of Candelaria that began in the 17th century. Once a well, dry now. Thank you.